Hey everybody, Kusmos here, back again with Last Dream World Unknown. We are at the North Aldrin Ferry, and I'm going to take a perhaps a bit premature trip to net. Ooh, and some random fish. Yeah, I'll pay the huge, ridiculously huge price. And there's some monsters I want to go ahead and get before I start getting into the real meat of things. I think I can handle the monsters pretty easily, and they give us decent rewards. I can use at least some of them. Oh uh, yeah, so the equipment I start off with is a little bit better than normal, but not brokenly good, I believe. So, I mean, that's rather the intent. Alright, what do you have to say, sir? Welcome to the South Aldern Ferry. Fancy trip to North Aldern. It only costs you 10,000 gold. What do you say? Not right now. No, thank you. Alright, so we don't want to do this too much, but we can at least get some things of interest. No one seems to be in here, okay. Go ahead and steal what we can, because that's what we do. History of the Aldern Ferry, Volume 4. Furthermore, their profound lack of seafaring experience led to their demise when attempting to cross between the continents during a terrible storm. Gruesome, eh? It's a ledger listening recent passage who have taken the ferry. There are surprisingly few entries. But the ferry has been kept alive by hard-working sailors who dream that they will be the ones to strike it rich as the operator of the North or South Aldern Ferry. Alright, no one here. In fact, rain a little, uh soon on it, but that's fine. And I I assume I can't call Moa? No, okay. Let's go to manual mode, just kind of peek around. Can I spot anywhere that's likely a Moa forest? Hmm. Got a tunnel to cross through there. But I don't see anything worthwhile. Can get to that cave. Kind of heading south. And presumably that's next. Fishing dock and some cold areas. And way, way down here. Looks to be a moa tree. So we'll grab that. Probably swing by neck. We want to go this way. And probably the first fight or so, we'll uh, go ahead and do, see how things look. Presumably I can still just get away with this. Keep all of our potions and everything well stocked up. I need a better first round attack. For Seraglio. She doesn't really have much of extreme interest. Like, I don't like her having to do a single shot attack, right? Presumably this is the way we go, yeah. And... I mean, there's not much to say. There's it's a fairly quiet place. Okay, some nice things in the forest. You can't quite drop them in... One attack would be lovely. I've been working on Jareth's attack a little bit. Because he has felt a little uneffective. Ooh, and that, those bleed effects are nasty. It's also increased his crit. Okay, well, the green dragons are just kind of tough. That is good to know. Okay, so there's Necht. Like I said, I want to tangle with the monsters first. And I don't think there's anything on this little bit of land. So let's head around this way. Swing by the dock, and I guess we'll see if there's anything up there. And, I mean, these fights are pretty simple. Dragons are a bit of a pain. Maybe he needs to be doing more damage? Would have been cranking Sid's ant like crazy. So I you know, I expect to get pretty far with that. Probably else 
preemption has gone up a little more than I'd like. Hmm. Okay, anyways. There's almost always been a chest in the ones of these I've found so far. Thought there was one there, but I guess not. Is this like the first one without a chest? Hmm. Well then. How disappointing. Just double check, maybe behind some trees or something that... You know, very popular trick, kind of hiding behind sprites, but that would seem not to be the case. Tins are high and neck, my friend. Sometimes it's good to get away and clear your head. Do you need some bait? No, thank you. Can I do any fishing here? I can do regular old fishing. So that is good to know. Kingfish? I don't know if I've got any of those. So I have the best pole I can get. Everything else will have to be spears, which, I mean, doesn't lend itself quite as well to just grinding out fishing. And I can get a cut through here. I want to say, yeah, I see something there. Okay, how is everybody's stats looking? We're close enough to full to just jump right in to fight the Psycho Pump. Is this the last one? I think it might be. So... Let's keep go kicking in right off the bat. Let's see. Increase his HP, that sounds nice. Ultra scan, of course. And increase your chance of being targeted. And decrease the elemental effects, right? Seems the way to go. I mean, I'm pretty certain it used to be minus like 30%, but whatever. I do like having the. Ooh, that is a pretty hard hit. So we'll want to. Uh, Citadel, I think. Death, Vigilance. And that's pretty nice. As well, I think you're about ready to go. I don't know which one of those you used, I didn't pay close enough attention. Anyways, let's purple. Okay, we can get effects, mind drain. I mean, that could be kind of nice, actually. Nah, go ahead and do a mana search for me. Perfect answer. Oh. I'm going to have to do a whole lot of healing. I'm not sure if I can keep up with that, actually. Alright. How much should we lose? Like a crazy amount, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we can healing trance. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. 500 HP damage, fully element all allies. Let's take a look at you. What are your, are your weaknesses? Fully weak. Oh, that's lovely. So let's drop a holy heal in there. And for good measure, drop some of that in. Let's see. 150 damage, 150% damage rather. That's probably what we want. Okay, can we mind drain you effectively? That's... And, I mean, that looks potentially pretty good. Let's see how much it drains. Oh, man. That debuff. Healing's nice, though. 12, 18. That is a lot. They feed us a nice heal. Gonna have to keep that up. Ooh. Okay. So, give me healing trance. And I think that would be our best option. Okay, let's burglary. Okay, you've mind drained, you can't do that again, so. Megaton explosion. 
These fights usually last oh, long enough that we can get close to the end of their MP, so seems the way to go with things. Drop that again. Can't do any of those, so. What do we think? Agile Strike? It's a pretty nice hit. That sadly missed, so. Mind Drain again. Does that give you the MP? If that's the case, that is crazy good. Get another Darkness is lovely. Uh, let's see. It does not give you the MP. That's fine, though. Alright. Drop a Rush Assault. You're out of MP now, aren't you? Actually, I want you to hamstring, because she's going to have to do melee hits. And... You cannot remove Bleed States. That's a shame. Drop that. Megaton, I think Megaton is better, right? And since we're no longer bleeding, I can fill up the full. Probably. Um, also, actually, I'd like to drop Genius. And I'll go ahead and use one of those. There we go. And I think perfectly fine. Is it a giant potion? Yeah, it seems pretty effective. Ooh, super critical. And nothing left to steal. So go for the damage. Oh no, thief, obviously. I mean, everybody's hurting some, but. Which is perfectly fine. We can focus on things that give us regular defense. And Jareth is still bleeding. That's fine. Go ahead and give me a... Did you genius yet? I think you did. Destroy armor. Grain of death. I mean, I'd like a little bit more... healing, to be honest with you. I mean, that hits well regardless. And didn't you have something that actually heals? I thought you did. That's fine. Go ahead and give me some extra XP on this fight. Uh, assuming the Psycho Pomp lives long enough. There we go. Jareth is back to full HP. And we can go ahead and hit the... I keep wanting to call them Chocobos, the Moa Forest after this. Alright. Let's try the Frost Sword. It seems like a lot of fun. Let's see. Agile Strike, that's a pretty good hit. Similarly, Agile Strike, it is a pretty good hit. And... Yep, that did it. Okay. Now is... Did I not get... Why are people getting different SP? That's very interesting. I thought it was just a flat-out sort of thing. Good. SP doubles on... I don't have one on you. Oh. I thought I got one back on everybody. But apparently... Uh, okay, I yep, forgot to do that. Forgot to put it back because I had a fight with instant death. My bad. Okay. Wait, what ring did I take off you? That's probably not the ring we want. Um, let's see. Oh, I've messed everything up, haven't I? I mean, I can just wear two of those. It seems useful. 
Let's get more HP for you. I mean, it doesn't do a huge amount of good when... Actually, I'm also going to do skill on Sid. Um, I'm not sure how actually useful it is, but... 10 HP every step. Pretty much good for keeping the party tip-top shape. And it's not that much MP. Alright, so here's our Moa Forest. With a lovely chest. Maybe two. Alright. Shall I tame the giant Moa? Of course we shall. Mount up, and I'll just see if there's anything hidden over this way that I couldn't see due to bypassing things with the tunnels. That'd be a no. Alright, so let's let's take a look see it next. See if anything happens. Or it will burn when our militia strikes. This is Nect. We are the enemy of Ronkar and all goblin enclaves. Town of Nect. Alright, well, here's Synthesis. I've looked at Synthesis. I don't have any new items. So let's see what we'll have to say, right? From the historical perspective of the goblins, they believe themselves to have good cause against Nect. They were an unrecognized people when the city of Nect was founded, and Nect, some settlements increasingly encroached on their lands. Surely their oral traditions passed down this injustice, and they now look toward our might and success with great agitation and resentment. History has the power to explain intentions, if we choose to understand. Alright. Go ahead and just chat to some folk. You defeated the Psychopop. I'm ambivalent regarding the goblin prejudice espoused by my neighbor, so I won't hesitate to shake your hand. Thank you. Nect is often accused of responding with unmerciful force while others provide sympathy. Yet I tell you what, that life is unmerciful and grave forces are always at work. The weak, sympathetic people of the world will be crushed under the dark realities of existence. Ooh, a chest. For a bomb mirror, we know how those go. Green Horror. Short in stature and mind, the wrinkled, raspy creatures on of unknown age parade about as men, but do not be fooled. Call me Wolven Shepherd. I have the demeanor of a wolf and the nature of a shepherd. I see confusion and I offer bright clarity. Alright. I peeked over there. I mean, we obviously expect most of these just to be shops and whatnot. Whoops, did not mean to exit. At least process if there's any books about or things to steal. Anything outside of the normal? Not really. I can actually sell the orbs. Interesting. Okay. Presumably equipment will be Admantium level. Maybe emerald? Admantium. Okay. No huge surprise there. Exactly what we expected. Armor will be the exact same. Let's not even bother with it. What do you have to say? Wistonia should have invested their ample funds in the able people of Nect. Instead, they wasted in Rockwood on a gang of appeasing mercenaries in their elaborate guild. Hey lady, I'm one of them. I'm uh, investigating before the attack, I suppose. Let's talk to the citizenry. Um, well, let's... We can get up on the walls, we can chat with the soldiers, that'd be fun. Maybe. Okay. Tell me, Goblin Lover, do you disapprove of our methods? Do you decry with righteous indignation our attempts to defend our very homes and those we love? Defend? No. Perhaps if there is hope for you yet. Go then, tell the world what dangers we face here alone. Tell them we are not afraid to act against the threat they ignore. Tell them that goblins will one day come for them as well. See the difference between defense and attacking, lady. It's kind of the definition of them. My new necked neighbors proclaim me too soft-hearted concerning my court kin. But I ask you this, must one abandon his homeland and loyalty as well as physically to become a valid citizen of a new place? Tree of Life? Okay, I mean, probably not going to be any goblins up here. But perhaps they'll have some hidden chests? Chests are always lovely, yes. Okay. So, okay. that's not where she is. Let's look at the, the tree and drop a safe. Be the psychopomp. We don't want some unexpected 
death to lose that for us. Ooh, another chest. Recipe for a vampiric spear. My husband has fallen for the prelate's propaganda. He's like a different person. I'm not even sure that I love him still. I know it's wrong, but I want to punish him for his stupidity, so I've come here to throw his beloved treasure map into the pond. Same result if you take it. Do you want it? Yeah. May it bring you more happiness than it brought my husband. I should probably look into uh, tracking those down at some point. But for now, we still have more of Necht to explore. Did I talk to you yet? Yeah. Not been in these houses, however. And rob them blind. Any loose things? I'll take sugar, flour, whatever. I'm going to take Wonder through town several days ago and shouting a very specific number over and over again. 121161983. That looks kind of like a date. Alright, so let's go ahead and write that down. So in net, we have 121. One. So 12, 16, 19, 83. Okay. Got that. How about you, sir? Anything to say? I want my child to serve Nect and become strong by doing his duty in jealousy of our grand military and one's people. I guess you're going on another entirely different continent to attack people that aren't related to and species to the ones who attacked you allegedly. Ah. You barrier shield. And a sleeping bag. Should be a real shortage of sleeping bags in the future. I'm selling them all even though I don't really need them. It probably won't be long before I have like 99 of them and they just disappear off into the void. It's a very large house. Who keeps magic potions in baskets. Ooh. Should have prelate his due respect. Can I have his stuff? Aha, here's some stuff to take. Electric blast bomb, a very messy room. Two essence of the phoenix, large potion, and nothing. Can you guess a child's room, probably? Piano? Nice, simple tune. But we'll... Right. I for some reason expected to ask me to continue playing. Ooh, another chest. And Blizzard Bombs. Thank you very much. What do you have to say, Mr. Cook? Next shall be a lighthouse in the dark sea of fear emanating from the goblins' misdeeds. We shall enlighten Firma through our ingen ingenuity and industry. Let Next stand strong forever against those who would see our lives dashed on the rocky shore of their ignorance. And what say you, prelate and prelatess? My dear friends and neighbors, do not think that the Goblin Menace has abated. No, those filthy creatures are merely conniving their next wave of unadulterated violence. Verily, I tell you, don't be caught off guard. Do your duty to defend yourselves, your brothers and sisters, and our fair city. Sign up and serve today. And have you come to join us to fight the scourge of goblins that is spreading across North and South Aldrin? Okay, so that is the prelate, and that's just a... Watch Commander. I kind of thought it was prelate and prelatess. Assuming I've talked to the small child. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Wait, is this a. Yeah, I've already been in that house. I have not talked to you, I don't believe. It is easy to philosophize about interracial harmony in the lux uh, luxurious cities of Orvos, far from the dangers of reality. Everyone is accustomed to the elitist elves thinking such things. But our human neighbors, how dare they abandon their next friends in favor of ideological fantasy. Alright, let's see you. Of course there are always deserters without the stomach to stand against evil forces. War offers self-selection. By those inferior individuals depart from the stronger whole. Perhaps even to live with goblins in their dank caves. The strong will always crush the weak. Deserters and the enemy both. 
Green Horror Volume 4. The dark evening course is filled with the rhythmic creeping of depraved creatures through the night. They frighten our women and still our children. Something must be done. And friends soon. Okay, same book. Fine, fine. And let's say you. Volume 3. I have a responsibility to countless innocents to lead and protect. The green goons menace, and thus good men must stand guard. Let's head down to the basement first. Basements always have good things to steal. Like a recipe for an erratic whip. I haven't used whips in a while, I think. I want to say the thief can use them. Maybe my hunter. I'm not sure on that. I know I switched to using swords on the thief, but uh, in the last game, and rarely go back. Uh, okay. There are six goblins for every one human, and their breeding continues. My sheep, I can see the future because I understand the present. Uh, but yeah, I switched to sword because I think in the last game, like, accuracy was a little messed up. It didn't have the effect it should but I might consider going, you know, like, whip and dagger, perhaps. Do I really want to talk to the soldiers? Yeah, they might have some interesting things to say, but... There's a lot of them I really don't feel like talking to all of them. Please understand, it's not that Nect abhors dealing with other races. We merely wish to live our lives separate and without malice toward our neighbor. And yet, war comes to us. Our own court practices an ignorant way of life, again, not because they intermix, but because the goblins are a stealth power. I don't know how the humans of court survive among the goblins without their throats being cut at night. When I was young, I trained with the Elves of Fear. I learned to know my enemy, and yet I freely admit that the goblins are a confounding race. Very interesting music here. I offer myself as leader because my fellow humans deserve my guidance. I march forward because others can barely stand. So used to, these would have, like, it's very strange. For a while, bookshelves like this, you'd have different texts on each, but now they started to be the same. Dear nephew, your father was severely debilitated by a battle mage. He suffers from severe shaking and slurred speech, as well as something else from the distant past. For 50 years, your father has had the same nightmare. He wakes up screaming while reliving his panicked killing of an elven peacekeeper at close range, who was bringing around his crossbow to fire on your dad while he tended to two wounded soldiers. I've been visiting with your dying father at, ironically, an elven hospital. If you're ever planning to reconnect with him, now would be the time. Dear uncle, I appreciate the notification about my father's impending death. However, I have no interest in connecting with him. My father abandoned my poorly educated mother with four kids and no job. We did not hear from him for years. In the meantime, we were reduced to accepting food from concerned strangers. I have also endured time in a war zone, and while I understand that his time in the Great War was challenging for him, Many other humans have overcome their war experience to lead responsible lives. He has not. I am now my father's age at the time he abandoned his family, and thus, I find his lack of responsibility ever more deeply disappointing. Dear nephew, I thank you for sharing your sincere feelings, but you must know something more. Your grandmother was a powerful black mage who cast confuse on your father. She possessed the sick desire to have her children need her and she lured your father away from his family. Her only moment of regret occurred as she approached death. I was holding her, her in bed, listening for a sign of breath. When her... where he... I... let's go with... When her eyes flew open in shock, she exclaimed, I never knew Sergei's children. Her final words were about you. I was pleased to hear this dying regret for her actions, but the full measure of damage had already been done. Dear uncle, I do not accept that my father was manipulated into a lifelong abandonment of his children by a black mage. Confusion wears off, but his cowardice endured. Dear nephew, your father's misery in the Great War rendered him susceptible to prolonged durations of the confusion spell. Please reconsider before it's too late. Dear uncle, the arguable duration of confusion aside, the young son that achingly sought a father is no longer here. There is no one for my father to reconnect with. All right, and let's rob him and... What do you have in the basement, might I ask? I don't believe in battle victims. Court is blessed to be attacked by our militia. In time, they will grow stronger and be better prepared for the coming goblin threat. Okay, sure. Kind queries. 
Who are known compulsive liars that refuse to be wrong? Whose central talent is making everyone loathe their presence? Dwarves. Okay. So, uh, more specious propaganda, it would seem, in the form of riddles. Very poorly constructed riddles. I kind of feel possibly somewhat intentionally on the game maker's part. Oh, how about you, Blue Cat? Times are tense, and the risk of getting caught is exceeded this item's worth. Here, take this off my hands. Ooh, Mega Bubble Tonic. Yeah, not far not worth uh, stealing. What about this little bear? Nothing? Okay. Who resides within? Sealed envelope stuffed in your bursting. Violent cartoons of grappling suffering. Lovely people. The goblins of Ronkar are a plague that must be wiped from the face of Kerma. When I was young, a goblin raiding party invaded my family's village. They slaughtered my parents and took my eye. Since then, I've made it my life's work to rid the world of goblin scum. Kind queries. Who floats along and are remarkable for nothing in particular? Goblins. Alright. Lovely, lovely people. Dear Claire, your decorated brown bag is very sweet. I enjoyed your tortured hearts against the blue clouds that are clearly struggling to exist as a distinct form. I sometimes feel this way too, Claire. I used your bag to wretch, because the blue clouds make me so intensely angry. You didn't mean to make me angry, did you, Claire? Yours, the polite Riddler. What in the flying blue blazes? Uh, I would go so far as to say there's something just strictly mentally wrong with the polite Riddler. Let's see, after striking it rich at the Westonia Casino, I thought I'd vacation in Necht, but no one told me they would be on the brink of civil war with their neighbors in court. I'm anxiously awaiting my protection detail to arrive from Westonia. A man of my wealth certainly can't travel alone. Okay, let's look about for things to steal. We've got a fishmonger. And a chest. I mean, we've got plenty of fish, but maybe some of them are useful. Saltwater fish. Okay, not bad, but not that excellent either. Traffic is so slow, perhaps I should venture off to North Bay to see if the economy fares better there. How about you, sir? Those dirty goblins have invaded Neck and stolen our possessions more times than I can remember. It's about time that we hired a militia to teach the goblins in court a lesson. I'm hiding from the captain while the rest of the crew loads goods destined for North Bay. Things are going well so far. If I can stay under the radar for a few more days, I might actually get a bit of rest. Okay. The next court hostilities have grown out of hand. I can't wait to return to my peaceful home in North Bay. Well, that one goes around to another big ship. Ooh, super bait, sure. I seem to have missed a ship there. I'll go back to it. I was just kind of spaced off right past it, looking at the uh, pathways I could walk. Okay, nothing here, so let's go to the ship we missed. I'm going to fire the cannons, honestly. Can I get that ship? No, it doesn't seem to be connected. I've never had a goblin on this ship, and I never will. Those thieving wastes of space can rot for all I care. Alright. So, that does it for us. I... Shall make my way back to uh, well first to Rockwood, and then I will meet you guys outside of court, I believe. Ooh, tombstone, once above, now below. Here lies Jake, bit by a snake. So I will meet you guys outside of court in the next episode. So uh, until then, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But uh, until next time. Catch you later.